Last time on She Rules the Waves, fall really hit southern Sweden, and the weather started to deteriorate fast. I began to empty out and inventory all the forgotten storage spaces, and had to switch docks in the marina twice. All while the weather was getting worse. And the gales keep on coming, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, my name is Linus Jackson and I'm a sailor, musician and father of two. I bought my boat Sedna in Italy and have spent the last two seasons sailing her to her new home in the south of Sweden. It's been an incredible journey, but now it's time to roll up the sleeves and get her ready for the adventures to come. Hello people, it's mid-October, I'm in Sedna, and the wind is really howling, uh, and it's gonna get way worse for tomorrow night, probably. It's gonna be gale force and up to storm in the gusts. And it's easterlies, which is very rare. It's usually westerly winds around here. Um, I came here this afternoon after work, and I was supposed to start doing a lot of projects, but it was so freaking cold, and I had to do uh, a lot of work to make sure that the boat is securely tied to the dock because it's also going to be really high water levels, which is also very unusual for this area. They said it could be up to a meter and a half higher than usual. And if that actually happens, it's going to be over the dock where I'm tied. So I got to make sure that everything looks good. And after I did that, I was so freaking cold. So now I'm just sitting inside here and warming up. But hopefully I will be able to do a bunch of projects tomorrow because I feel that I've been home long enough now to actually start going through everything that needs to be done and um, start taking off the project. So, um, well, I'll just wait till the morning and then I will try to go through what needs to be done and start working. So until tomorrow morning. Watching some uh, football, eating some pizza, and preparing to edit this week's episode. I'm usually uh, doing most of the editing in my home studio, but now I'm trying to figure out uh, how to set up my uh, boat studio. The circumstances did not get any better and I had an appointment in the city that night so I decided to go home. And let's just say that my property is not really sheltered for the easterly winds. Yeah, so today is the day that I start with the bilge. So I bought some oil absorbing and degreasing stuff. Um, no excuses anymore. Let's do this. Okay, so first things first, what I gotta do is uh, clean the bilges. And uh, this, yeah, obviously needs to be cleaned, but th this is not the problem. If we go further back, you can see that there is some greasy water down below. So I had some absorption um, cloth um, and I'm gonna put that in all the bilges to try to get the oil up and then I'll pump out the water. For the record, I've actually never done this before so I have no idea if this is the right way to do it, but I guess I should give it a try. Second thing I'm gonna try to do is to get this little tiny power drill pump uh, with this uh, small hose to see if I can get into the little nooks and crannies. So let's try that. Well, that 
actually seem to be working pretty well, I must say. Although, we'll see the results later. Here you can really see it. The black stuff that soaks up is the, uh, the oil and the rest and the water is not. Um, so, I didn't film that, but the first pad I threw down here just said and it was black. So, I assume this means we were running out of oil. That's a good sign. Yeah, and this is just super disgusting. I actually think that I'm going to take a break and go and change clothes because I'm gonna get dirty. It's actually a pretty nice day in Limham today. It's almost too bad to be stuck in the bilge. But I am taking a short break. I changed my clothes, so I'm ready to get greasy afterwards. But for now, I'm going to get some lunch. Okay, I have more appropriate clothes on and let's get back to this. You can see that it's been soaking pretty hard. Mm, yum. I did also put a couple of those oil absorbent pads under the engine here. That actually doesn't look that bad, so I think I'll be ready to pump that water out soon. But there's a lot of degreasing that has to be done in here, that's for sure. And uh, my plan is also that, not today, but sometime soon to replace all these nasty wall things. Put in some new foam. But yeah. That's just one of the things on the project list. I think it might be time to retire this flag. It's been a long trip, but also the storm didn't help. It's hardly even yellow or blue anymore. And these things, I have no idea how this happened. That's really interesting. Holy shit, it was windy. Hey people, this is my aft cabin. And uh, I am planning a major renovation of this because there's so much space that's not used. So what I would like you to do is to head over to Patreon and check out the video there. It's free for everyone. You don't have to be a patron. It's a public video. And check out what my thoughts are and give me your thoughts because this is going to be a project that I really want to head into with the right mindset before I start anything. It's not going to be this winter. It's going to be a lot of planning, but uh, please check out the Patreon video and give me your best shots. Well, I think I have decided to redo the Dodger this winter. At least I'm gonna try. So I'm building a roof for now to keep the wet and the snow out. <laughs> So last step is to uh, get a separate shorter uh, tarp to put here so that I can make a door and go in and out easily and uh, put some PV pipe, those plastic things, arches, hopefully to keep the possible snow away. Uh, all right, let's go. I was really happy with that at first because about a month later, some hundreds of liters of rainwater and eventually heaps of ice and snow cracked the wooden beams and ripped the tarp. So, on to try number two, with a ridge of thick drain pipes as the backbone of the construction. I 
Okay, so it's total chaos here now. Uh, but the idea is to make a hard dodger instead of this one. And I'm thinking it's going to be similar looking, but a little lower, like a decimeter, maybe a couple of inches. And uh, a little shorter. So I will do the Amel kind of version where you can stand behind the wheel and uh, the dodger will stop around here. And then I can have a soft one op that you can open and stick your head out if you need to. And that could go up like this and then back higher like a bimini. Um, either way, uh, the first idea is to make a dodger out of cardboard so I can get the feel of it. Then after that, I'll see if I can uh, use the old uh, pipes here to... Uh, um, get the idea of how the rest of the structure is going to work. But first things first, I have to make a cardboard cutout of some kind. Yeah, well, first we had to deal with the remnants of the Christmas storm. This is what it looked like after the storm. I couldn't actually film it when I was here because it was kind of dangerous, but... All these rocks were kind of like flown up over the edge here when the wind was coming from the northwest. Nasty. You could kind of hear the chilling temperature in my voice there. So we took a break and head north between Christmas and New Year's. I mean, if it's gonna be cold, you might as well go all in. My sister joined me and the boys for a week of skiing and snowboarding in the Scandinavian mountains. And with these clips, I thank you all for following She Rules the Waves. Please give this video a like, give me a shout out in the comment section and don't forget to check out that free Patreon video to give me your feedback on the renovation plans for the aft cabin. If you want to, you can take the step to becoming a paying patron and get to see the new episodes ad-free and before everyone else. And if not, I still appreciate you all being here and I'll see you next week. So click the subscribe button and the bell and until next time, take care.